I'm the rules girl and this is Alhambra, a 45 to 60 minute medieval city building game for 2 to 6 players. In Alhambra, players compete to gather currency and construct the best Alhambra. The goal of the game is to win and you win by having the most victory points, earned by having the most of each type of building when it's time to score and building a wall around your city. Your Alhambra starts off humbly as this fountain and on your turn you'll do one of three things take money, spend money to build a tile, or redesign your Alhambra. To take money, simply take any one card from the available face-up cards, or several cards that add up to five or less. There are four tiles available to purchase, each with one of the four local currencies. To buy a tile, use your action to spend at least this much of that currency and place the tile either in your Alhambra or in your reserve for later. When placing in your Alhambra, you must be able to draw a path from the fountain to the tile without crossing a wall or going off the tiles. Additionally, you cannot rotate the tile and must make sure any adjoining sides are the same. Walls touching walls or non-walls touching non-walls. Finally, you can never make an empty area surrounded by tiles. Now that you've made your purchase, you can take another turn if you paid an exact change. The final action you can choose is redesigning your Alhambra. Adding a building from your reserve to your Alhambra, removing a building from your Alhambra to your reserve, or swapping two tiles between your Alhambra and reserve. Once your turn is over, replace any taken money or buildings. If you encounter a scoring card, it's time to award points. Each building type is worth this many points to the player with the most of that building type in their Alhambra. Any ties are split, rounded down. During the second scoring round, points are also awarded to the player with the second most of that building. You must have at least one of a building to earn any points. During each scoring round, in addition to scoring points for buildings, each player earns one point for each wall segment in their longest external wall. After taking your action and refreshing the center, it's now the next player's turn. Play continues until the end of a turn in which you need to replenish buildings, but can't. The remaining building tiles are given to the player with the most of that respective currency in their hand. Ties are not broken and the tile is simply discarded. A third and final scoring round takes place, awarding players for having the first second and third most of each building type, as well as scoring your largest external wall. The player with the most points wins the game. Ready to play? Give each player a fountain, a reserve board and two counters, placing one counter on the fountain and the other on the scoring track. Draw four buildings to fill out the building market. Shuffle the money cards and make the money market with the top four. Then deal money cards to each player face up until that player has 20 or more worth of cards. From now on, Money is kept secret. Make five roughly equal stacks with the remaining money, shuffling the first scoring card into the second stack and the second scoring card into the fourth stack. Then put stack four on stack five and stack three on stack four and so on. A random player goes first. If you like Alhambra, you might also enjoy Suburbia or Quadropolis, two other city building games. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking it or subscribing to The Rules Girl for more ultra-concise rules explanations.